Okay, well, here's how to play um, 12th Street Rag by John James. Um, I worked this out by ear um, several years ago, and it took me a couple of months, I suppose. Um, it's about 95% there. Um, feel free to send any corrections in. Um, so, let's make a start. The guitar is down to drop D, um, so my bass E string is a D. The rest of it is just standard tuning. Um, the intro that John James plays starts with what I think is an F sharp minor sixth. Um, basically, it's a, f a shape at the um, seventh fret. So A string, seventh fret. Miss your D string. Play the G string on the sixth fret. B string on the eighth fret. E string on the seventh fret. And he just plucks that, and then with his second finger on the D string, slides up to the eleventh fret. And then barring the other three strings with your first finger on the, the fret below, that gives you the, the note on the B string. Bar across the four strings at the fourteenth. And then down to barring across the 12th fret on the bottom th uh, top sounding three strings and the 11th fret on the G string for so that gives you and then it's just a series of octaves then down the uh, guitar so starting at the 12th fret 10th fret, 9th, 8th, 7th, 5. Okay. So that gives you the intro. Okay, and so then we're into the sort of first tune, if you like, which is based in the chord of G. Um, but what you're actually doing is playing a G shape which comprises of an open D shape moved up to the 7th fret and your first finger is playing G on the, the dropped D string if you like at the 5th fret so um, I'll play it slowly you just have to work this one out yourself really by ear um, and it's almost what John James plays, I'm not quite sure exactly what he plays, but this will do for now. It goes like this. So you're then sliding up to the 7th fret. And then you're adding two fingers to get this chord. And you're playing open, open bass strings. Okay, and that is that whole, that first tune, so it goes like this. sort of half speed if I can. He puts a little variation in on that, the second part that's up at the seventh fret. First time he plays um, I'll try and play it without messing it up this time. Okay, listen to the video, you'll work that one out. Okay, and then he moves into another key chord shape um, for this piece. Um, I'll show you what it is by, if we go down and just play a standard C7th. 
Okay, if you move your little finger or pinky up one fret, you get, I think it's kind of like a C major 7th. With the opening string on. If you move that whole lot up to the 10th fret, that probably sounds familiar. That is your the base of your 12th street rag tune. Um, but John James uses this in several places in the tune. Um, the first time you see it, he actually moves it around the fingerboard. So that's 10th fret, 10th, 8th fret, and then down to 3rd fret, up to 6th fret, and then just a little bass string run, so starting on the uh, fifth fret on your on your bottom D string. And you're playing the, the the G string open. Up to a D seven. If you hit the uh, hit the D bass note there, it sounds really nice. And that resolves onto a G, which all you do is fret the third fret on the top E string and the 5th fret on your drops D into a little run on the 6th and 4th fret so you've got and you can you can pick the or you can just do pull offs if you want to. Um, okay, so that's the first the first part of the tune done with. Um, he plays a couple of little twiddly bits which will will I'll just show you a couple of times and you can work them out yourself really by looking at what I'm doing. Um, the first one is that one comes in quite a lot, just slide up to the G. And then another fill in um, where are we? It's there. Yeah, between between the different parts of the tune you'll play. So that's, that's based at the tenth fret and you're playing um, the D D string is your is your root for that one. Then you're back down then to using the D string and the B string. Um, on the 4th and the 3rd frets respectively and then hammer on again on the B string at the 5th fret um, up to a barred sort of A shape Okay, this next bit, I, for purposes of our little tutorial, I've called it the difficult syncopated bit, and it is a real pig to play. Um, it took me ages to get my fingers to do what my ears could hear. Um, the chord shape is, where are we, um, so you're starting what you're doing, there it is, right. So you're up at the 10th fret on the A string, 9th fret, D string, 8th fret on the G string, and then you're up at the, you're missing out the B string, and your little pinky finger is on the uh, top E string at the 10th fret. And what you're doing is going, you're sliding up your first finger, which is on your G string. As you play the little phrase, you're sliding that up one fret to the 7th uh, fret, 
that right? No, it's the ninth fret, sorry, ninth fret. <laughs> Next, the next shape is so open A string and then fret it um, D string at the tenth and then you've got your two fingers, first finger and second finger are actually on the G string um, on the sixth and seventh frets and you, you're anchoring on your little finger which is uh, on the tenth. And you can alternate the bass line if you want to. It's difficult enough to play um, at the right speed, almost impossible to play at half speed. Um, you're just going to have to work it out and sit and play it. That's the only way to do it, really. So. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, um, you're back to that um, F sharp what is it, F sharp minor 6 and you're just kind of um, plucking a little fern there and also I alternate the, the bass there with my second finger so on the A string um, 7th fret and D string 7th fret 